Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has two scriptures to accompany it. The first is Isaiah chapter 13 verses 4 through 13 in the King James, Vi King James Version Bible. It reads, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them, and they shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another, their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. The next scripture is Ezekiel chapter 6 verses 7 through 14 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, And the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Yet I will leave a remnant that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whether they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes, which go a whoring after their idols. And they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. Thus saith the Lord God, smite with thine hand, and stamp with thy foot, and say, Alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel. For they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. He that is far off shall die of the pestilence, and he that is near shall fall by the sword. And he that remaineth and is besieged shall die by the famine. Thus will I accomplish my fury upon them. Then shall ye know that I am the Lord, when their slain men shall be among their idols, round about their altars, upon every high hill, in all the tops of the mountains, and under every green tree, and under every thick oak, the place where they did offer sweet savor to all their idols, so will I stretch out my hand upon them, and make the land desolate, yea, more desolate than the wilderness toward the blath, in all their habitations, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Now for the message received <clears throat> from the Lord God on February 22nd, 2020. 
2022. Don't you see? Believe on me. I am the only one who can set you free! Exclamation point. For the turmoil you've endured, there is but one reward. I am your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. I am your true Savior and blessed hope. I died on a cross at Calvary for forgiveness of your sins. This is not a game you lo of you lose, I win! Exclamation point. This is your life, your spiritual eternity. Believe on me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and ye shall live with me in peace and love and harmony forevermore! Exclamation point. Soon you will know for sure who I am. The time to decide is now, my beloved. Either you are for me or against me. Eternal peace, joy, and love, or in all exclamation or in all capital letters, or eternal damnation in all capital letters in the lake of fire. Exclamation point. You must make a choice. Believe on me and repent in all capital letters from your sins. Love me as I do you. I cannot tell a lie. Exclamation point. My way is the best way. The Father's will is to see no one perish in hell. You are all, all in all capital letters, his children, and he loves all, all in all capital letters, of you very much, exclamation point. Believe on me now, now is in all capital letters. My beloved, for time is so very short. War is at your door, America, even onto your shores, exclamation point. Once the bombs fall, your decision will be made by default. Even if you are on the fence, you are not worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven. You must first wash your garments clean in the blood of the Lamb. I am who I say I am. Do not wait, not in all, in all capital letters, exclamation point. Do not procrastinate. Not in, is in all capital letters, exclamation point at the end of the sentence. Fall on your faces now, my beloveds. Turn away from sin and love me in your heart. Remain a part of God's family. You do not want to be left behind. Not is in all capital letters and left behind is in all capital letters, exclamation point. Great tribulation, unlike any time in history, will be here on the earth, first in the form of war and then in the form of captivity. The rulers, the oppressors, the victors are cruel, cruel in all capital letters, exclamation point. They will show no mercy, no mercy in all capital letters upon you, exclamation point. Especially if you say you are a Christian, they will hate you and persecute you, imprison you, and kill you, kill you in all capital letters, for your beliefs on me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is no negotiating with evil dictators. No is in all capital letters. They will own you, own you, or in all capital letters, and control your every move, control and every move, or in all capital letters, exclamation point. Come back to me, my beloveds, before it's too late, exclamation point. War, like never before, is along your shore, America, exclamation point, with everlasting love, Jesus of Nazareth. So, this message really... Uh, my beat hearting, my my heart beating, excuse me, oh, really fast and tripping over my tongue. I'm sorry for that, but it, it's definitely a message of warning, and it is kind of scary for those who are still on the fence, and he is begging you to believe on him. He's the only one that can set you free, it says here. And 
that he wants you to live with him in peace and love and harmony forevermore. And he says either you are for him or against him. Either eternal peace or eternal damnation in the lake of fire. You have to make your choice, he's telling you. He doesn't want, the father doesn't want any of his children to perish in hell. And he says you must make a decision very quickly because war is at the door, even on your shores, America. But you have to repent. It says once the bombs fall, your decision will be made by default. So I'm not sure if that means that you're going to die. And then you're going to, if you don't believe on him, you're not going to go to heaven. Or if that means that... You will be killed by the enemy. Hopefully, if you are, that you believe on Jesus and you will go to heaven. But your decision is going to be made either way. And I'm not sure if it's a pre-trib rapture. With once the bombs fall, we go up. I don't know how this is all going to play out. I'm not a Bible scholar by no means. But if you reread those scriptures that I was given to accompany this message, you will see it's all about war and the great tribulation to come. And the people who are doing evil are going to be subjected to God's wrath and he doesn't want the people who are lukewarm or, or the lost ones to be subjected to it but he might force his hand if something if there is a some type of a calamity like a war and you God forbid get injured or die or something happens and they take over the country if if we're still here you might have to make a choice and the choice may not be an easy choice because you might get killed for your beliefs on Jesus Christ and persecuted. And it says that you do not want to be left behind because we're entering into the great tribulation. Unlike any time in history, it says first in the form of war and then in the form of captivity and that the victors are very cruel. So he's praying for you to repent. Come back to him before it's too late. Because it says here that war, like never before, is on your shore, America. So this is the message for today. I hope you heed it. We're not going back to normal. I know right now they're saying that this pandemic is winding down. I don't know what's going on with that, but I do believe that we're headed for World War III with Russia and China. But that's just my own personal beliefs, so please don't attack me in the comments, but it seems like the writing is on the wall to me anyways, and I'm not the only one. So now is the time to come back to your faith so you don't have to be here to be, to have to go through any type of persecution or war or anything that will force you to make a choice between God and just being able to survive. So... This is the message for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listened to it. If you're lukewarm and on the fence, now's the time to pick up your Bible again. Read it. Read these books. Read Ezekiel and Isaiah. I would read these scriptures that I have here down in the description box too because they are pertaining to 
great tribulation and war. And if you ever can't understand it, you can always do a Google search on what it means and it will bring it up for you. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely share it to all of your social media platforms. If you like the content on the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. I pray for all of my subscribers and viewers daily for Jesus' blood protection over you from any harm from the enemy. And if you believe that this message from the Lord is speaking to you personally, or you have a comment on it, please leave your comments down below. And if you have any questions and or prayer requests, please send them to my email address, which is listed also down below in the description box. And I just want to say, get ready, because your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is coming for his bride. But you must repent and love him wholeheartedly. And may God bless you.